What's up everybody, Michael here. I hope you're doing great. Sorry for the mess, my studio is under construction. Today we're gonna have a look at what I think is the best on-camera microphone for Sony cameras. It is the Sony ECM B1M. When you look at the microphone, you immediately notice this is made of a strong polymer, strong plastic that is. It's built solidly and it has this shock absorbing mount here. That is what Sony calls it. I would just call it bobblehead. Is it bothering you? Does it give any audio interference in practice? I don't think so. At least I didn't experience, but more on that later in the test. The ECM B1M is a compact on camera microphone for Sony cameras that was, I think, introduced in 2019. And as you can see, it's eight microphones aligned behind each other. That makes the whole thing very compact. It's less than 10 centimeters long, and that is really good if you want to blog with it. And what's really cool, if you order the piece, you also get a custom dead cat that is really good. For the rest of this review, I will switch to the Sony B1M and get rid of my Rode VideoMic NTG. Why? You will see that later when we compare the two microphones in the review. The first thing you will immediately notice about the B1M is that there are no cables, there is nothing, it's just mounting on the multi-interface shoe or the hot shoe and that's it. On the back of the microphone, you can switch between digital and analog audio. And what that essentially means is that if you have a camera that is compatible with this microphone, you get digital audio straight out of the microphone that does not need to be processed by your camera. And that is really good for multiple reasons. The main reason why you would actually like to have digital audio straight out of your microphone is that it has less interference between the camera and the microphone since the signal is digital to begin with. And you also will not have any degradation process of your audio as it passes through the hot shoe interface and is then baked into your video footage. Unfortunately, not all Sony cameras are fully compatible with this digital audio, which means that you would have to use the analog switch and you will have a list in the description of this video to check out whether or not your Sony camera is compatible with the B1M digital audio. For me, one of the most interesting features about the B1M is the different directional modes. You have a switch in the back where you can switch between super directional, AKA the traditional shotgun mode, to unidirectional, or if you want to capture everything around the microphone to omnidirectional. This is a test using the super directional microphone modes on the B1M. This is a test using the unidirectional microphone modes on the B1M. And this is a test using the omnidirectional modes on the B1M. Now you can obviously adjust the audio levels manually, but in my experience, the auto function actually works like a freaking charm. Now something that is very interesting and incredibly useful about this microphone is that you cannot get it to clip. And this essentially got me to think that this must be a 32-bit floating type of situation, but the signal is actually 16-bit coming out of it. So I think what happens here is that Sony implemented some sort of limiter that attenuates the signal before it goes to the camera, and that makes clipping sort of impossible. This essentially means that you do not have to check your audio levels ever. Another incredible feature is the integrated noise cancelling. It essentially blocks out background noise and tries to isolate human speech, aka your blah blah. This is a test on a very busy crossing. Uh, we have a lot of traffic in the back. Uh, this is without noise cancelling, by the way. You can have a train passing here on the bottom. And now let's turn on noise cancelling on the Sony B1M. Boom! Noise cancelling is on. And uh, yeah. Let's see if this does anything. You still have a lot of traffic in the back. This is another test shot um, with the B1M here and the Rode Video NTG here. Noise cancelling is turned off and I'll turn noise cancelling on and you can see or better hear the difference. Um, if this noise cancelling does anything. Now you could do something similar in a software like Adobe Audition for instance where you would capture background noise and then subtract this from your talking head footage. It's a pretty simple process these days and in most cases just a matter of a few clicks in the software. But I think the B1M has two really big advantages over traditional noise cancelling that is done in post-production. Numero uno, obviously it does it in real time meaning that your footage will already be noise cancelled and this is really handy for vloggers who need their footage out as fast as possible. You don't have to fix your audio because it's not broken in the first place. Number two, the B1M always has the perfect noise sample that it needs to fix your audio. And this kind of takes away the guessing process of the software which you would have to feed with a noise sample and then subtract it. And especially in very dynamic situations, this can be really, really difficult to pull off. Now, when you compare the ECM B1M from Sony to a microphone like the Rode VideoMic NTG, there is a couple of key differences and in my opinion advantages that the Sony product has. 
The Rode VideoMic NTG with a reasonable deck cat will cost about roughly 50 bucks less than the B1M from Sony. Let's listen to a few samples. So yeah, um, just walking around like the vlogger that I am, talking about oh my biceps that is slowly but surely burning. Oh, I really hope um this doesn't shake too much because I couldn't turn on or I didn't want to turn on electronic image stabilization because then I would have been cropped in even more. So here's another sample, but this time the traffic is facing right for me. So in theory, it should be slightly better. Just give you a perspective. There's a bunch of cars behind and uh, there's actually quite a bit of traffic jam going on there. So uh, yeah, let's see. This is also with noise cancelling turned on on the B1M. Overall, to me, it seems that the B1M is just quite a bit clearer from the get-go. Now, obviously, you can tune the audio of the Rode VideoMic NTG in post to make it sound more crisp and better, but this is yet another step you have to do. Now, besides the fact that you don't need any cables with the B1M, I think one of the big advantages is that you don't need to charge the Sony microphone. Granted, the battery of the Rode VideoMic NTG lasts very long, but this is just yet another thing you have to think about before every shoot. The B1M is also significantly smaller than the Rode VideoMic NTG. Now this size advantage in a real-life situation like vlogging can be the difference between you recording something discreetly and fast or you getting called out by a Karen or a chat like What are you doing here? Are you even allowed to film? I think you know what I mean. Finally, the B1M is much more versatile with its different directional modes. For me personally, the B1M just beats the Rode microphone in every single category. Except for pricing, which brings us to our last point. Originally, the B1M came out in 2019. It costs about 350 up to 370 bucks, depending on where you're from and what dynamic pricing is doing these days. Now, the big problem is that this microphone is on back order everywhere. Like on B&H, you can expect to get your unit at like June 2022. So that's quite a lot of time to go, especially if you need it now. So you might ask yourself, how the hell did I get my unit? Instead of buying it at the biggest retailer, I placed an order at a small and highly specialized photo and video company and essentially told them that they should notify me as soon as the item is back in stock. And lo and behold, they called me a few days ago that I am on the number one spot of their waiting list and if I still wanted it and I was obviously like, yes, please. And two days later, I had it here. I did the same with the DJI FPV back when it came out. Instead, like all my friends ordering it at one of the biggest retailers, I searched for a special small camera store, placed my order and I got the DJI FPV two weeks ahead of all of my friends. Now I can't guarantee you that this will work in your case, but it's something that you can try out and see if it works for you. Finally, to come to a conclusion, for me the B1M is an absolute game changer. And I mean that in every sense of the word. When I do a vlog, I have complete peace of mind that my audio A will always sound great and B, it will never clip. I also couldn't care less about charging the thing, setting it up, connecting it, checking the audio levels, you know, the whole thing that is tedious and will set you back. And if my surroundings are a bit noisy, I just press noise cancelling and I'm good to go. Now, will this device have the same quality like a dedicated shotgun on a boom pole with a recording device? Obviously not. But you have to ask yourself, what medium are you producing for? Because for YouTube, this microphone is more than good enough. Now, not to give Sony any dumb ideas, but for a microphone like this, I would actually gladly pay 500 bucks. So guys, there you have it. These are my thoughts on the B1M. I think it's an absolute steal for what it does. And if you like this video, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe, liked or comment down below what you think about the B1M and how you hacked the system to get it, even though it's back ordered. Until then, guys, keep creating and I see you in the next video. Cut! It's less than 10 centimeters long, and that's really good if you want to vlog with it. Oh, come on, don't be like that.